Outside, George. There's the triple. Markinen. Pulls it in. Trying to shoot himself out of his slump. And it's not going well. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. George dishes to Sexton. Pass it to Bucks. That misses, had a chance to tie it there. And they commit an intentional foul. It's another one of those so they can get into the penalty. That, that's right. No other option but to foul and put for some misses. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're in front by two. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth. So the first one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. Well, he's been the guy on a few teams. So Paul George is ready for moments like this. There's the knockout blow. No chance of getting up off the canvas now. And the Jazz call time here. They trail by four. Twelve seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? An uphill climb. They need everything to break their way. They also need to get the best shot you can as quickly as you can, and then immediately five. Twelve seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Good! And what a sensational bucket to put them within one. Not only can you count on Marketing to give you points, he can do it when it matters most. Fourth team foul. First free throw is good, and that will put them up by two. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. That's why you want him at the line when the game is close. He knows how to deliver in the clutch. And it's all about the three right here. And they're looking to tie it up, live to play another period. We'll see what they run right here. So it's the Clippers taking the win in a close one with a dramatic late victory. And Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled really with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Yeah, that was a good guy.